welcome to Next Game's 2021 Roadmap video. In this video, I'll go over my plans for Final Fantasy XI content in 2021, and then I'll go over the plans for all the other games that I'll cover in 2021. Let's start with this channel's main focus from the start, Final Fantasy XI. Since Final Fantasy I, I have dreamed of a Final Fantasy game that didn't end and just kept getting updates. And for 18 years, Final Fantasy XI has made that dream come true, and continues to do so in 2021. This year, I will be moving away from Ninja and starting to cover other jobs and group content. Here is a list of projects already in the works for 2021. My How to Make Final Fantasy XI Beautiful in 2020 video has been my most popular video to date. In 2021, I will release an updated version of this video reflecting the year's worth of troubleshooting and solutions that we have found since its release. Accompanying it will also be a brand new all-in-one high-quality texture pack that will also have a bunch of new textures in it that have been released since the video's release. This video will also cover both 1920x1080 and 4K resolutions. Now along with this, I will also be releasing an updated version of the Windower add-on and plug-in video as there are several new add-ons and plugins that I've started using since the time of its release. And additionally, some of the add-ons and plugins that I have been using have broken in that time, namely Gear Info. I will use this video to explain how to fix it so that you can continue to use this very useful add-in. Next, we will bring our A Guide to Ninja series to completion. Now the A Guide to Ninja series has seen 25 episodes in 2020, and I have finished covering all of the normal gear sets that I recommend. To complete this series, I will be doing a series of summary videos. Episode 26, will be a 2021 gear set summary video recap. Now in this video, I will go over every gear set from a trust and capped buff perspective and only go over gear so that the video will be relatively short. But this will be for easy reference so anyone that needs to know exactly what piece of gear to use, they can quickly reference this video to see what pieces I recommend. In order to get explanations of why these pieces are chosen in the specific gear sets, you will still need to go to the original episode videos. Next, we'll be doing a brief return to our HTMB series. In 2020, we completed covering all of the HTMBs. However, some were done before I was at my present skill level, so they were attempted on difficult. In 2021, I will be occasionally redoing any video not done on very difficult and showing you the very difficult strategy. Next, Sinister Rain. This was one of the first things this channel covered from a solo standpoint. This year, I will return there and cover strategies for defeating all nine of the NMs in Sinister Reign and show you how to take all nine of them on either individually or as a group of three as the original Sinister Reign event was intended. Next, we will be making a return to our Vagary series where I show you how to solo the five Vagary bosses in the solo BCNM. I've already covered two of them and now I already have videos recovered for the remaining three that I'll be releasing in early 2021. Next, the Gesh Fate series. Now here we are nearing the end of Esha Ruan, and in 2021 we will be finishing the remaining mobs here and then moving on to the most challenging zone, Resenma. After we finish the soloable NMs, I will then show strategies for taking on the 10 non-soloable NMs in the Aeonic Path using a party or alliance. Next, we'll move on to the Odyssey series, where we are only a few weeks away from Shield D being released. Once it is, I will be releasing strategies for taking on Shield D, whether it's in a party or solo setting, we will have to wait and see. This brings us to our Omen series. I recently released videos showing how to solo three of the five final bosses. Next week, I'll be releasing a video showing how to solo Fu, which leaves only Ki and the final boss U that I have been unable to come up with solo strategies for. Therefore, in 2021, I will release a video showing how to take both of these last two NMs on in a party or alliance setting. The next series is one I've been meaning to start for some time, and that is the Dynamis D series. This new series will cover strategies for farming and beating each Dynamis D zone. I'm excited to bring you this new content and showcase some of the great members of my link shell. The next series is the Unity series. Now in our Unity series, we'll be doing things a little bit differently. Next, I'm going to be covering how to solo all six of the final bosses of Unity before the Tumult Curator. 
I'll then do further videos in the series showing how to solo all of the other lesser NMs on jobs that are not ninja, therefore giving you some insights into how it is you can solo some of these things with some jobs that I don't normally use. We will then finish the series with an alliance setup showing you how to beat the Tumult Curator. I'm also happy to say that I finished some of the goals that I set forth in my 2020 roadmap video in that I have finished mastering several other jobs that you'll now see me using in some content in 2021. These jobs include Summoner, which is mastered with her Nirvana, Red Mage, which I recently finished mastering and has a Crocia and a Sequence, Dragoon, I also recently finished mastering and he has a Trishula, and then my Thief, I also finished recently mastering, and he has an Aeneas. And the final video I hope to bring to you in 2021 that is Final Fantasy XI related is one covering the drop of my Kraken Club from the Up in Arms BCNM. Now I have done this run over 500 times in the last 18 years, and sadly, it has never dropped. But I have a feeling that it is coming sometime this year. So if it does, look for a video showing the drop and the strategy here on this channel. Next, let's move on to Elder Scroll Online. Now I haven't posted any new content for ESO lately, as I've been busy leveling my characters, but I'm happy to say I now have three endgame characters to take on dungeons, and should have three other finished in 2021. This will allow me to cover all the dungeons of this world on all six classes and discuss fun build options for each. I'll also be covering good add-ons to use, as well as the easiest ways i found to level up secondary characters and get champion points to maximum. Currently, I have Dragon Knight, Nightblade, and Necromancer capped, and in 2021 I'll be finishing my Warden, Sorcerer, and Templar that are all currently at level 25. Current champion level is 450, so we'll of course be looking to max that as well in 2021. Next, let's move on to Star Wars The Old Republic. Now, I haven't posted any new content for Star Wars lately, as I've been busy leveling my characters with this game, just like with Elder Scrolls. However, I'm finally ready to start gearing them up for Endgame now that Onslaught is out. This year, I will cover easy ways to level secondary characters, go over how to best farm gear in this new Onslaught system, and class builds for all of the jobs that I have finished. Look for videos covering flashpoints and other game content on these jobs in 2021. Also in 2021, I will be working on the eight non-force sensitive classes so that I can start showing videos on those in 2022. Thus far, I have Jedi Guardian, Jedi Sage, Jedi Shadow, Sith Juggernaut, Sith Marauder, Sith Sorcerer, and Sith Assassin all ready for videos. Next, let's move on to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now in 2019 and 2020, I covered Assassin's Creed Odyssey as the first non-MMO on this channel. In 2021, I will continue to delve into that latest game in the franchise, Valhalla. After Valhalla, we will move on to Origins before starting at the beginning of the series with Assassin's Creed 1. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is Sierra Classics and some other games. Now just because I'm feeling nostalgic, we will have some surprise entries this year covering some classic games such as Heroes Quest, and old 8 and 16-bit titles such as Metroid, Contra, and Mega Man. Lastly, I will be briefly covering some other non-MMO titles as I get to them, such as Cyberpunk 2077 and the Middle Earth series. That'll be it for what I have planned for the next game's channel in 2021. If you're not subscribed, please be sure to click the little subscribe button down there so that you're notified when my new videos come out. Also note, I have another channel called Nextbrick, specializing in LEGO design, lighting, and display. If you have any interest in any of those things, please go over to that channel and give it a subscribe, and I'll be happy to see you over there. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Stay safe and stay healthy in 2021.